this is NJ, your host on this channel. In this video, we will have our discussion on the upcoming transit of Mercury. As on December 3rd, Mercury will transit to the sign of Sagittarius. Now guys, uh, during this year or during this month, this transit of uh, Mercury becomes very important because Mercury is going to be spending a lot of time in the Sagittarius sign. Like rather, I would say that it is going to be over there in the Sagittarius till February 6th of 2023 and we cannot overlook or undermine the importance of Mercury which is the significator of communication, of business, of travels, all sort of social media networking. So because of which it becomes very important to understand the impact of this transit of Mercury customized to your signs. So guys uh, starting first with the important dates. So just because Mercury never stays in a sign for such a long span of time. So that means during its stay, it is going to be turning retrograde as well. So like we will start the new year when Mercury is going to be in a retrograde mode. So guys, the dates are like from December 3rd till December 27th, Mercury will stay in the Sagittarius. Just for two days, Mercury will enter the Capricorn sign. And then on December 29th only, Mercury will get into the retrograde mode. This retrograde motion uh, within the Sagittarius only is going to stay till uh, January 17th. And finally, on January 18th, it will come out of the retrograde motion. And eventually, finally, on February 6th, it will leave the Sagittarius sign. Now, definitely, guys, um, the influence of Mercury in the Sagittarius can be seen as good news only because Mercury only see uh, Moon and Mars as its enemy. Like that is a different case that the ruler of Sagittarius, which is Jupiter. Jupiter might be seeing Mercury and Venus as its enemy, but Mercury is going actually in the sign of a planet which is very neutral to it. So because of which all those people who are like in any capacity, if you are working as an advisor, as a consultant, you are a teacher or you are connected with the travel business. So all those people will definitely get benefited. And guys, um, because Mercury is the significator of communication, all sort of negotiation, uh, business dealings, we connect with Mercury. So and the qualities and attributes of Sagittarius are so optimistic, are so forward uh, going that definitely you will find yourself to be very uplifted like if you are already working as a motivational speaker you will be able to put forth your best efforts you will be able to encourage or motivate people with your content and all those people who always remain in the lookout for next inspiration or next sort of good business idea all those people can also get benefited so overall guys in a nutshell this entry of mercury in the Sagittarius can be seen as a good sign because guys uh, from the past uh, couple of weeks ever since Mercury has entered the Scorpio sign and with this contribution coming in from the Sun and Venus so that is a different case that uh, Mercury and Venus are always close to the uh, transiting Sun only but during this time because um, like Saturn Mars other planets are also in a strengthened state so Mercury's stay in the Scorpio is always a vulnerable sign like getting misguided or uh, becoming a part of any politics backstabbing or your mind in itself is uh, guiding you putting you in the wrong direction thoughts of uh, revenge resentment so we all remain very much prone and vulnerable towards all of that like mercury energy in the scorpio can only benefit people those who do not hesitate in gaining out of controversy or scandal but in general I would say that now Mercury is in the Sagittarius, which will only give right set of inspiring ideas to all of us. So, okay, guys, now we will uh, start looking at the customized results um, from your ascendant. So, starting first with the Aries Lagna people. So, definitely, guys, uh, in your case, Although as per the house rulership, Mercury is not a very auspicious planet for you. But just because it is going to be transiting in the most auspicious house, ninth house. So because of which it will only generate good results. Like rather I would say that whatsoever your religion is or your faith is. 
and whatsoever the holy uh, books which are connected with your religion reading them uh, regularly taking out time for any religious austerity will actually increase the prospects of your luck second thing is that because guys here you must have understood mercury is the planet of uh, your like uh, smartness quickness of decision making so this time period can actually grant you some very good idea as well and all those people who are already like you are a freelance person you are a self-employed person connected with the sales media marketing any of the initiatives taken by you during this time can actually generate some very good returns and beyond doubt guys if you are already working as a teacher lecturer in travel and tour business any of the concerns of like foreign travel or residentship all those people will also find success when mercury is going to be transiting in your ninth house so guys overall i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable in any way because mercury in your case has got the rulership of your sixth house as well so even at your work front as well if you will be put forth in a any sort of competitive situation any negotiation so you will be able to convince people in any conflicting situation any of the fierce competitive situation you will be able to perform very good so overall uh, from the aries lagna perspective i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable overall a very good sign and guys because if you will see over here uh, because uh, mercury is in a way uh, it is kind of in a, a kendra combination from the transiting jupiter it has actually entered the 10th house uh, from the transiting Jupiter so overall I would say that blessing will definitely come and any of the concerns of uh, if you are connected with the business which straight away governed by the third house or Mercury so definitely you are heading towards some very good time and I would also say that the influence of friends in your life will also prove to be very inspiring very profitable for the Aries Lagna natives now guys uh, for all the uh, Taurus Lagna people so now guys uh, in your case as you can see that Mercury although is a very auspicious planet for you it has got the rulership of your second house the house of your income and fifth house of speculation of your uh, intellect and it is going to be transiting for a long span of time in the eighth house so guys uh, this time period can be seen as beneficial only for those people who are working in the fields of revenue insurance or any even the uh, investment bankers as well so for them this time period can still be seen as a positive but if you are a kind of person that you do not have any control when you uh, invest in stock market in trading or let's say for example if you have got a very uh, kind of frivolous nature or a very uh, playful sort of nature it's like you know unpredictability in the uh, investments so over there you have to remain very cautious very careful but i would say guys like for all those people in whose case anything to do with uh, like studies or research or exploration like all those people in whose line of work all of this is getting qualified people can still do good but in general like i would say because mercury is the significator of communication in your case it has got the rulership of your second house as well so that in itself tells about that whenever you are speaking in any sensitive situation try to remain as transparent as much as it's possible otherwise staying ambiguous might give some wrong signal or might uh, rub people in a wrong way so this is something which i can say so only thing which is getting vulnerable in your case is remain transparent with your communication and remain a bit calculative in your investments but for anything to do with the uh, competitive uh, situation anything to do with um, like people connected with the uh, insurance revenue uh, fields all those people can still get benefited moving ahead guys uh, now for all the uh, Gemini rising natives so guys in your case it's your ascendant lord which is going to be transiting for a long span of time in your seventh house so overall guys I'm not seeing you guys vulnerable wherever our ascendant lord goes in the transit somehow our focus goes in the matters of that house and in your case uh, like I would say that Jupiter is also right now transiting in your uh, 10th house protecting your public image guiding your actions in the right direction and with this entry of mercury in your seventh house it is a very good sign beyond doubt for all those people who are in business 
anything to do with the mass media connected with politics or if during this time you have to give any performances and all of that so it's a very good time like you will be able to appeal and connect with larger audience and you will be able to leave your impression a uh, positive impression very uplifting inspiring impression in the minds of your uh, audience to your listeners as well so overall guys uh, in your case i do not have anything to say apart from just the good aspect of this entry of uh, mercury in your 7th uh, house and also i would say that this could also be seen as a very good time that uh, with your partner if you want to take any vacation just you know uh, just the change in your current prevailing environment like if your domestic life has been stressed out little bit because uh, mercury was uh, for long was transiting in your 6th uh, house and mercury has got the rulership of your 4th house as well so i would say that this will be a good time period to plan some vacation and you know a very good time for commercial gains perspective as well so overall a very uplifting positive time for the gemini lagna natives now guys uh, for the uh, cancer lagna natives so guys in your case uh, mercury is not a very auspicious planet for you uh, to be honest and over and above that it is going to be transiting in your 6th house so that in itself tells about that uh, first of all guys uh, because mercury is the significator of communication so many times what happen is that see cancer lagna people are like generally considered as very uh, emotional very uh, nurturing very uh, concerned for the well being of the others but many times what happen is that trying to arbitrate other people's problem might entangle you in their mess in their conflicting situation so refrain from getting in involved in other people's mess you might have a good intention to help other people but you might get involved in other people's drama as well so over there you have to remain cautious any of the concerns of like um, for all those people who are already going through any of the health related concerns or if you are already going through any of the lawsuit related concerns so just try to remain very cautious very careful because the way planetary vibration is going to be influencing you it is kind of creating a energy of turmoil uh and also guys because in your case uh, mercury has also got the rulership of your uh third house as well so any of the new uh plans you will initiate any of the new projects you will get associated so just uh, rather than being in this haste for giving your nod in any given situation just contemplate on the pros and cons and i would say that in only one aspect where i'm seeing this uh, transit to be very favorable is for all those people who are already on a leadership role like you are on a top management and uh, how to manage big teams or big projects so for demonstrating strong leadership uh, skills this can be seen as a very good time and when we talk about any of the concerns of um, you know expecting some quick uh, returns on your initiatives or uh, matters of communication um, getting uh, misaligned at work front these are the areas where you have to remain very cautious um, now guys uh, just because in your case you can also consider doing remedies as well like i would say if you are living in india so um, it's possible to feed a spinach to the cow or uh, uh, feeding the anaj to the birds like pigeons feeding pigeons or if you find any unix on witness days you can also give them some money so these are the few remedies and the best remedy for mercury is the listening to the uh, vishnu sahasra naam every morning like if you can also uh, listen to that on wednesday days and thursdays so that will also be considered as very beneficial which will protect the energy of mercury when it is going to be transiting from your 6th house now guys for all the leo lagna people so guys in your case although mercury has got the role of a killer planet for you but from the financial gains perspective mercury is a very favorable planet for you and as you can see that in the transit it is going to be entering your 5th house and it's going to be staying for a longer span of time over there which is a very good news for you guys so definitely guys uh, if you are a student 
so you will be able to retain whatsoever your teachers will be training you will be teaching you and if you have to write any competitive exam you might be able to do very good if you are an artist you are a creative person any of the work created by you during this time will give you good recognition for sure and also guys uh, even when we talk about good return on the investments any of the financial restructuring or restructuring in your business at your job front you have been contemplating so you can actually consider doing all of that so overall guys i do not have any better thing to say for the leo lagna people specifically um, in connection with your finances in connection with your opportunities uh, good support from your uh, friends uh, within the community this transit or entry of mercury in your fifth house can be seen as a very good time now guys for all the virgo lagna natives so now guys in your case uh, mercury becomes your ascendant lord so its transit is definitely going to be very important for you now guys in the original kal purush kundli uh, mercury does not find itself very comfortable whenever it is transiting from the fourth house but this is your lagna and the sign where it is going to be transiting and the way other planets are contributing it so i would say that it will definitely bring some very good results specifically for all those people like whether you work from home or any of the concerns of being in the business of real estate of buying and selling of cars i would say that this transit or this entry of mercury in your fourth house will bring good results only also guys because our fourth house also tells about uh, people who are very close in our vicinity in our surrounding environment see guys when we talk about how to distinguish your kutum your family or the relationship Uh, which can be seen from the second house and the fourth house second house tells about the parivar the family in which you are born but on daily basis we do not see our paternal uncles or maternal uncles on everyday basis what we see is where you are living right now it's like where i live my neighbors my uh, fellow tenants or the place where i go for grocery so these are the people who are in my daily uh, circle of influence so i would say that definitely it's a very good time a uh, very inspirational time for you and a lot many of the virgo lagna people who are working on some new ideas or they are always on a lookout for some new source of uh, business ideas or uh, new markets to sell your product so overall it can be seen as a good transit only i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable it just like that guys um, there could be a tug of war uh, between your emotions between your logics so at your uh, domestic life if you have to take any important decision so do that in that calm state of mind like driven by your sudden surge you do not want to give your affirmation or your nod to something which is gonna backfire you later on so in the family matters specifically remain very cautious very clear headed while uh, taking any important decision but when we talk about the uh, commercial or business related aspect if that is getting qualified in your case if you are already working in the areas of the fourth house so all those people will definitely get benefited now guys uh, for all the uh, libra lagna natives so now guys in your case uh, mercury has got the rulership of your ninth house and the 12th house becoming a very important planet for you and it is going to be transiting in your third house so there couldn't be any better uh, transit like i would say that after the leo lagna people even for the libra natives it is going to be a very good transit because guys third house is the house of our short journeys travels communication our friends our initiatives and mercury loves all these things so definitely you are headed for some new connections uh, friends uh, proving to be a source of strength inspiring you uh, pushing you motivating you towards your goals and any of the travels undertaken by you during this time will also prove to be very uh, profitable as well so overall guys it's a very good time and all those people who are working in the fields of sales media marketing you are a youtuber you are a influencer so you are actually heading towards some very good time so overall this transit of mercury in your third house will only be bringing good results for the libra lagna natives now guys for all the uh, scorpio lagna natives so now guys in your case as you can see that uh, mercury is not a very auspicious planet for you and it is going to be transiting in your second house so one thing is for sure guys that uh, try to remain very cautious very careful because a lot many times what happen is that see whenever we are dealing with these strangers 
we remain cautious and careful it's only when we are dealing with uh, within our references we kind of go a little bit careless so if during this time any friend of yours approach you with a very good business plan or business idea so try not to take decision in a haste or in a rush that is one thing which i want to say definitely guys when we talk about the prospects of your communication i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable like if you're already uh engaged in the fields of motivation or ed tech industry all those people will definitely get benefited like your voice your speech is going to be very inspirational for a lot many of your audience and your listeners it just like that in the matters of your um financial decisions over there you have to remain very cautious uh, very careful like if you are uh kind of working on those dream projects or where your goals or there are very high stakes so over there driven by the sudden surge do not take any important decision without consulting people around you or before taking any expert advice do not give your final affirmation in any of the matters of your financial business dealing but again guys in the matters of the communication or uh, good harmony within the family uh members regarding that front this can be seen as a good transit now guys uh, for all the sagittarius lagna natives so now guys in your case as you can freely see that um uh, mercury is going to be coming right over there in your first house so definitely guys this can be seen as a very good transit because it has got the rulership of your 7th house and the 10th house both of the houses which represents your public image your public dealings so nothing could be a better time than this that if you have to approach people for any of your business ideas if you have to give any performance or you are working as a uh in the fields of journalism or you are engaged in the ed tech industry so all those people will definitely get benefited the good thing over here is that guys because whenever the 10th house lord uh comes to the first house this in itself tells about that all the hard work which you have been doing the result of that will come to you so your bosses will approach you and i would say that be very empathetic and i would say overall you will be able to multitask manage things very efficiently and basis whatsoever kind of dashas are currently operational in your life with how much capability you are fulfilling your duties and responsibilities good returns good rewards can be expected for a lot many sagittarius lagna natives now guys uh, for all the uh, capricorn lagna natives so now guys in your case you have to remain a little bit uh, cautious careful uh, in your case mercury has got the rulership of your 6th uh, house and the 9th house although mercury is a very favorable auspicious planet for you but its transit in the 12th uh, house see the benefic aspect of this transit is that any of the pilgrimages if you are contemplating this can be seen as a very good time any of the i would say that within your mind if there are any of the past uh, you know ghosts of the past or any of the past trauma or stressful things if it has been troubling you so yoga meditation or any of the cleansing practices during this time will help you uh, unhook from all those bad memories or bad impressions which might have been troubling you and also guys i have already mentioned this thing anything to do with the pilgrimages or travel this can be seen as a very good time the only concern is that because in your case uh, mercury has got the rulership of your 6th house as well so while dealing with uh, people at work front try to remain as a uh, transparent as it is possible like if you are like trying to uh, favor any specific team or hide things uh, within your work front related uh, dealing with the people with your subordinates within your team members so all those aspect can backfire so just remain very cautious and careful over there and i would say that any of the travels will prove to be very profitable expense can go high that too if you are a kind of a people pleaser person so just in order to be very hospitable or impress people around you so do not end up burning a hole in your pocket so yes guys this is how overall the entry of mercury in your 12th house is going to be influencing all the capricorn lagna natives moving ahead guys now for all the aquarius lagna natives so now guys in your case mercury has got the rulership of your 5th house and the 8th house and it is going to be entering your 11th house of friends networking and income so definitely guys this is going to be time when you can expect the returns on all the investments which you have done in the past so now when i say investment it has 
not only to do with your financial engagements but also like all those people you have actually earned in your life like you helped someone that person might return the favor during this time any of the association or networking will prove to be very profitable like during this time you might end up um, meeting or getting introduced to someone very important a person who can actually play a very pivotal role in your life so overall guys i would say that for the aquarius lagna natives do not shy away from the crowd from any of the group setting go out meet people network with people and i would say in all those scenarios and situation that if you are out of job and during this time you will start approaching people on linkedin on different networking uh, platforms or i would say that any of the concerns of uh, seeking investment or funding so overall guys it's a very good time i can assure you that 11th house and 5th house access does not only promotes um you know spirituality fulfillment of your wishes but there is a degree and sense of playfulness or fun also which is attached over there so definitely friends will prove to be very uh, supportive for the aquarius lagna natives and a very good time a very good energy in the matters of your financial reinforcement of financial inflow and lastly guys for all the pisces lagna people so now guys in your case uh, mercury is going to be transiting to your 10th house so now guys as you know that mercury in the planetary council can be designated as the manager and whenever mercury transit from the 10th house i've seen lot many people who demonstrate some very good uh, multitasking skills or they end up uh, becoming or getting on the good books of their bosses or i would say that during this time if you are already working in the edtech industry in the uh, you are a trainer you are a advisor or you are a self employed person as well so i would say guys that overall it's a good energy i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable mercury in a way also gets the directional strength i would say in the 10th house as well like because there are so many significators of the 10th house so mercury also manifests some very good results so overall i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable and only one thing which i want to say is that just get out of your comfort zone uh, multitask meet people uh show this confidence to your bosses to people of authority at your in your professional life that you are responsible you are accountable enough to handle any of the important projects so if you will show this degree and level of confidence to your bosses definitely guys because as you can see it's not only with um, like uh, mercury is uh, transiting in your 10th house the way other slow moving planets are influencing you saturn is transiting in your 11th house like saturn's transit in the 11th house is considered as one of the best transit because guys after this saturn is going to be spending two and a half years in your 12th house and not only that your ascendant lord is also in a strengthened state right over there in the first house i would say that's a very good time uh, which you guys are running try to make the best out of it and any of the performance any of the business dealing done by you during this time will uh, kind of generate some very good return good reward and people will acknowledge or recognize the kind of talent which you possess so this is something guys which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for this upcoming transit of mercury in the sagittarius sign for a long span of time for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad